<laughs> Story time again <laughs> with Gator. <laughs> Winners are coming, folks. And uh, hey, I heard through the branches the little birds are saying that uh, a lot of stories that Gator is telling aren't true. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> they're, they're all true stories. <laughs> okay. What made me think of this one? I gotta give credit. Ah, hang on, I'll leave it back here <laughs> for a few minutes. Uh, gotta give credit to Tractor Man 44. He uh, he's building some. Well, he built, I should say, it because it's in the past. But that gave me the idea, eh? Uh, he built some dampers for a wood-fired furnace that you coupled to, uh, well, let's say, an electric furnace, eh? And uh, I was, oh, maybe in my 30s, early 30s. And we used to, well, first, first, uh, I don't remember. They call it depression or recession, whatever. The first that I lived through, anyways. And uh, we were working out of town and about maybe, oh, Close to a good an hour and a half, two hours from uh, from uh, where we live here, and uh, we had to travel. Me and uh, two, three other guys, we traveled together. But that's not part. There may be other stories having to do with this, because another one comes to mind. But uh, we lived in a boarding house. Well, we we'll. we'll uh, substitute the names for <laughs> for uh, I don't know for what purpose but uh, we'll call her Marie LeClaire <laughs> we uh, we used to board at her place all week eh? and we'd travel like uh, we'd go up Monday morning bright and early and we'd come back on Fridays eh? but we were working at the they call that Davidson Davidson Sawmill and it was owned in those days by J.E. Boyle, which was a subsidiary to, for those that these names mean anything to, it was a subsidiary of E.B. Eddy's. But anyways, a sawmill. It was a softwood, most, well not mostly, it was a softwood mill. They had the, the pine mill and they had the uh, spruce mill. But that hasn't nothing to do with well, me. There's other stories, eh? But uh, just something else. <laughs> when you work in a sawmill like that, there, the smell, eh? It's like nothing else, eh? Like you go into a sawmill yard and, well, maybe because of the pine, eh? Old pine and, uh, anyway, stop. Okay, we'll keep on going with that because... I meander, eh, and I, we could be here for hours. <laughs> okay, so we were bunking at uh, Marie's place, eh, uh, which is in uh, a little place not too far from uh, Davidson's. But anyways, uh, which, just facts, eh. And uh, we go to bed one night, and she'd always stoke the furnace around 11 o'clock, eh, well, lo and behold, the power goes out, eh? Ha! That fire caught. Well, fire was just roaring, eh? But the dampers... But she didn't have no ductwork damper like uh, <laughs> Tractor Man is building. She just had an open... Uh, open flue to the, the, the other... The, it was an oil furnace. O open air. And uh, I guess the, the ductwork was uh, maybe, well, regulations one inch from the wood. But yeah, when you get that wood fire going there red hot, one inch ain't enough. <laughs> Anyways, fire caught and the joists and everything. Uh, she evacuated us from there, but we stayed in our vehicles. This was on a Thursday night. We were going back home on uh, Friday after work but the uh, firemen came eh, during uh, late evening and uh, 
they uh, extinguished the fire, but they put they had to put fans like run off. They turned the power off because the fire was <laughs> caught in the building, eh? But they got generators and they put fans in that wood furnace and I don't know what else to to kind of sl slow the heat down a little bit to evacuate some of that heat that was all caught in the ductwork and uh, <laughs> it was a sorry story but you know what come Monday the bunkhouse was open again <laughs> she had got somebody to put it back together and they had the uh, well during that same week that we came back for the, the it was just running with the oil furnace but the fire damage was more or less uh, taken care of and because uh, it didn't burn the whole house it just it was very local to the furnace but it could have as she would not notice it could have burned the house down and that was all <laughs> an old 100 year old house eh? well there was I forget now I think 16 different rooms in that house uh, just imagine the size of that house eh? she used to uh, make her own bread, uh, slaughter, well, I don't know that she'd slaughtered, but she'd, I don't know how you call that, like, you take the pigs and you pull them apart, or, or you take the beef and you, well, she, she, she'd do butchery on, butcher on the beef and the pigs, eh, and the chickens, and ah, God knows what all, she'd make dessert, and I think, <laughs> We were go up there on the winter in the winter. Well, I went up there. I worked up there. Oh my God, they had some good jobs then, eh? <laughs> uh, we had three or four winters, eh, that I worked up there, and uh, it was decent money uh, in those days. Uh, wow, well, there was no work here in town, eh? So it was a a way to earn your living, eh? And uh, that was important in those days. But uh, she was a uh, wasn't expensive at first when we we started going up there. It was uh, sixty bucks a week. That's room and board, eh? That was cheap. <laughs> uh, and the last years that we were up there, because some of the guys that we were with, they ate. Uh, I wasn't the one that ate the most, but uh, I know of a few guys there. My God, they'd eat for three, four guys. And uh, I th she upped her price because it was costing her too much. <laughs> but that's just a little story, eh? Uh, small town and, uh, well, not much to do. But there was something, most autumns we were up there, eh? and there was something that we used to do in autumn. But that's for a story for another day. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, the time that we almost had no boarding house, you can call it. <laughs> but uh, no, it's just like uh, I, I think of this, and uh, Tractor Man 44 touched on it. These dampers, eh, like the the, the 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 damper has to, if when the power goes out, has to spring return to the open position, so the vent ventilation will take care of the heat. It'll get hot in the house, but at least the fan's going. But I think the whole thing was, is that the power had gone out. That's the part. That's why. And then and, and the fire caught. <laughs> so that was more or less a double whammy, eh? And she didn't have none of these, these dampers, eh? So uh, I don't think. I don't know. But uh, anyways, it wasn't open. It was all closed up and... And the heat just built up in the duck and the <laughs> she, she had a fire on her hand. That's it. So you synchronize those dampers and you make sure when, if the power goes out, it spring returns in the open position. <laughs> all right, that's it for this one. <laughs> They're all true stories. Don't forget that one. Uh, comments are welcome. I try to give non-generic answers. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>